Oh, that's a big box. Oh my Jesus. I didn't even know how big this box was until now. It's been in the garage this whole time. Oh, from the title of the video, you already know what this is. Um, finally changing this beat up front bumper. This beat up grill. I mean, grill. This beat up fender. The only thing I'm missing is the grill, actually. That's an older one. Well, this is nothing. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Swapping this grill. And, I mean, why well, keep saying grill? This bumper and two fenders over. So let's unbox this box. This thing is huge. Let's do that. Swiss Army knife puts in work. Okay, um, the only thing about this, this is not OEM, but one of my friends um, put his Instagram down below, Flex and Proper. Go check his build out. He's building a, um, he's building two swaps actually, he told me. A uh, Turbo B Series and an All Motor B Series. Both built. So go check his, his Instagram out. He's the one who showed me this because I was so skeptical about getting a non OEM bumper. But he got he got this and it actually fits perfect. So I'm wrap this for you guys. Hold on. This thing is not bad at all. Said it comes with all the the holes for the uh, the lip. Comes with all the like the factory holes and stuff. What I'm gonna be doing. Which at first I didn't like, but now I kind of do. I'm gonna be cutting the little centerpiece mesh off just to expose the inner cooler a little bit because this one you came with, how it, like it has inner cooler on it. But yeah, so I'm gonna start taking all this off. I don't want to unwrap the fender jack because these are pretty easy to get scratched up and stuff. So I'll unwrap them and I'll put them on. So let's start taking this off. So these are all 10 little bolts. You're gonna have one. I gotta cut that off. So you have one up here, which is already out, and I think there's one on the bottom. So you have to open the door, please. You see this one up there? That one's out already. So I gotta cut this off. And there's something. Super cool Honda zip ties to hold up the front bumper, to hold up everything, man. That's the other 10 right there. I forgot about these. Some this garbage. What the heck? I got a zip tie holding that up too? I didn't even know about that. Okay. Guys, remember when you're doing this, never let the fender sit like this because you actually. Oh, that's not a zip tie holding that. No way. You actually bend the fender doing this. Okay, so I went ahead and took both fenders off already. Um, so, like I was saying, you have one, two, three, four, two right under the side skirt. You have to knock the side skirt off. So there's two there, and then you also have one more right there. And the fender comes off. Um, oh look, this is the wire tuck that we did. But yeah, now you got to take the bumper off. With the bumper, you have this one here. Oh, this looks horrible. What the heck? Uh, what? I don't know how that happened. Probably rubbing on the tire. But you have this one here. Um, and then these clips. And then same thing on this side. This one. So let me just grab a little flathead to take these clips out. Take that there. Pop it up. That's it. It's that simple. These clips are so valuable though. Front bump is off. Um, so before, I want to do my intercooler piping over again. You gotta do it. 
But before I put the bumper back on, I want to clean this up a little bit because it's all dirty. So I want to clean it and maybe spray it over, to be honest. No, oh, maybe. Let's see. Let's hold it down, though. So I let that dry off. Uh, I'm gonna start cutting the mesh out of the bumper. I'm gonna do it with a pair of snips. First I'm gonna go around the edges, try to get as much as I can, and then I'm gonna go over it again just just like smooth it all smooth it down basically. Is this how a slow car look like? <laughs> this is a slow ass driver right here. Where's your hatch at? The one that you broke three times already? Yeah. You're dizzy. Exactly. Right? How's that mom yeah, fault? It's your fault. You're right. Thank thank you. Where's your hatch at though? Where's your car? Because I fixed it right there. Where's your car? Right there behind Listen, the RDX. Why did you why did you line me up? I heard you got smoked by the RDX. Cool. Crazy. Yo, you <laughs> zoom in and dump close to my face. <laughs> Alright, so now both fenders is on. This one is the only one that's giving me a problem. That part and right here, it's came like bent in for some reason. I don't know why. That sucks, but whatever. It's eBay, so this one is perfect, though. I go shop eBay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, fenders is on now. And I'm gonna spray the front bumper now. So, let's do that. Oh. Take four. <laughs> Yo. The it went into it, the wind. Yo, your head's in the way, man. And you guys got no mask on? I'm from the Bronx, bro. We don't do that. <laughs> Bump is good. Chat. Alright, so front end is finally done with the help from me myself because you know this guy's just sitting on the box. The other guy's just talking smack back there in the background. I'm a motivator. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Fitment on bumpers pretty great.